Um, those who are watching this would not forgive me if I also didn't talk for a moment before we wrap this up about your other passion in life, which is technology, of course. Uh, I want to show you something that, uh, that was part of an interview that you did with us about 20 years ago. It's not a gotcha, it's a, and you, you'll pardon that it's, a, it's an iPad that I've got to show it to you on. Movie, uh, watch this clip of, of yourself here. Has one of these, a wallet PC, oh, no, a no, personal no. portable computer that helps run your life. Well, you'll carry it around and uh, look at your schedule, get messages from your friends, uh, you can have pictures of your kids that you can show to everyone and it can store uh, any number of those. Uh, it's really the thing you need to carry around uh, because it'll even have tickets or money uh, stored electronically on the, the wallet device. So there you go. That's 20 years ago. You looking into the future and I guess some of us who might have watched that at the time went, come on, we'll never do all that with something like that that we can hold in our hands, which of course we've been doing for some time now. It would seem abnormal if we didn't have something like that. So take us 20 years into the, into the future, the way Bill Gates sees it. What will it be then? Yeah, the vision of uh, you know, mobile phones and tablets and the magic software that was needed for those things, uh, Microsoft really had that clearly in view. Uh, now we let, in some aspects, others execute a little better than we did. Uh, still uh, very serious about those areas and uh, incredible technical depth. The next 15 years, uh, the, these devices are going to get so much better. And instead of thinking about it as, okay, I have this device, I install this application on it, you'll think of all the devices working together to help you. And the information will through the cloud, uh, mm -hmm. just magically show up. You know, if you're partly editing something, you go even pick up someone else's device, but authenticate who you are, pew, that will be there with all of the state, your photos, your calendar, and, and those things. So it's, it'll be far more multi-device, far more natural interface. Uh, speech is getting really very good. Handwriting recognition is very good. Uh, the idea that it remembers where you went, so. You, if you uh, want to remember something, it'll know what you browsed, what you, you looked at. Uh, so it'll be this personal agent that's very, very powerful. Uh, Microsoft's even shown recently what they call HoloLens, which are glasses that are annotating, you know, uh, putting information up, even if it's you know, not really there on the wall, or reminding you who, uh, who's coming and what sort of uh, background information you want, might want to have about them. So it, the pace of innovation, I'd say, is as fast today as it's ever been in that space. Well, that's what I was wondering. Are, are things moving uh, at about the same speed, or are they moving even faster? They seem to move so fast in the last 15 to 20 years. That pace isn't slowing down? If anything, is it speeding up? It's not up? slowing down. Uh, and its impact on how we bank, uh, how we communicate, how we entertain ourselves. Uh, we're just at the beginning of that. And you even see a little bit, you know, the younger generation sort of latching on to the stuff and iterating with it. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time, you know, trying out the different applications just to stay up to date. Okay, what's the latest in robotics? What's the latest in, say, medical applications where you can consult with a doctor? Uh, what's the latest in the diagnostic tools that can track uh, what's going on? Uh, for the foundation, understanding all of that, so as it gets inexpensive, we can think, okay, where, which of these technologies can be used in poor countries? So uh, helping healthcare workers or making sure they show up or making sure the supply chain gets all the things there. Uh, this stuff comes down in price a lot faster than any other products we've ever seen before. And so often, you know, even if it's a rich world, uh, high-end consumer device in year one, by year six, it might be something that you'd want to get out uh, to farmers or healthcare workers in, in the developing world. So that, that innovation power will help uh, equity as well as uh, the, the consumers who are the, the initial targets. Did, uh the Bill Gates working in that garage with his friends have 
any idea where this was leading? Well, we talked about a computer on every desk in every home, and you saw uh, that we were talking about you know mobile phones mm -hmm. and you know the magic of computing. Uh, we talked about robots, and you know that still hasn't happened, and uh, and that'll be fascinating to see you know where that comes in, what that does. So it's in the direction that we dreamed of, but we're finally at the point where it, you know, in a few areas, it's starting to outstrip what was even imaginable in, in my youth. 